Hey everybody, I'm Bobby and I'm here filling in for my mom, Paula Dean, while she recovers from a little eye surgery. She's doing great. Um, but uh, she's enjoying, I think, Jamie and me coming in, filling in for her and uh, taking some of the workload. And I don't mind because I've got a lot of great recipes for you. And today we are, uh, we're kind of getting into fall. We're going to make a, a really nice butternut squash soup. It's one of my favorite. There are many versions of it. My, 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 my wife makes one. Um, that's just excellent um, and it's a, it's a little different from this one but she does it in the um, in the blender at home and today I'm gonna do something just a little bit different so I've started with I've got a pot on the stove here that's got a little bit of olive oil maybe I think it was maybe a half teaspoon of olive oil and then a tablespoon of butter and into that I've added uh, some Vidalia onion and that is just a great base for anything and it smells so so good so to that, I'm going to add my butternut squash. If you've not made butternut squash soup at home, please do. You're going to love it. Your family will love it. We make it for our kids. Nobody, nobody turns this down. It's so good. And I'll just kind of stir that in. And we're going to uh, add to that something maybe unexpected to you. Some apple. Ooh, yeah. Those are the flavors of fall right there. Squash and apple together. Mm -hmm. And then one more thing. Stay there, Ed. I'm going to add to that five cups of low sodium chicken broth. And I'm going to get my pot on about a medium heat here and let that cook but before I let it cook I'm gonna add one more unexpected ingredient this is tofu it's a great way especially if you're vegan or vegetarian I'm not necessarily um, but I don't mind I don't mind some tofu it's a great way to add some protein if you don't want it. Well, I just added chicken stock, so vegan. No, that's out of the way. But this is a great way to make a meatless soup, okay? So you can get protein without having to add meat to it. And I'm just going to break that up like so. That tofu, just break it right up into my squash, apple, chicken stock combination. Did I miss anything? Yeah, I did. I'm going to add to that pot a little thyme, a little, a little bit of thyme. Stir that in. And I'm going to bring this to a simmer. And I'm going to let it go for maybe about 20 minutes until the squash gets good and soft. And then we'll come back and we'll do the next step. We are making a beautiful butternut squash soup. This is from my book, From Mama's Table to Mine. It's called Secret Ingredient Butternut Squash Soup. Hmm. Secret ingredients here. One of them is very unexpected, but it's a great fall flavor, and that is that we added some apple. We also added some tofu for protein, and uh, we've got a really simple, delicious soup here. What we've done so far is we cooked our onion in a little bit of olive oil and butter, and then to that, we added the butternut squash, and we added the apple, and we added the tofu. Also, chicken stock, obviously, is the, uh, is the liquid in here. You could do this in a Vitamix or in a blender, or you could do, use a hand mixer. I'm going to use an emulsifier, and uh, let's just go ahead and mix up our soup. I did. <laughs> Yours. <laughs> to tofu. I, the, the tofu, the, this is called secret ingredient butternut squash soup. There's two things that you wouldn't expect. One is the apple and the other is the tofu. So whichever one you want to be the, the secret ingredient, you can call the secret ingredient. I've actually had I've actually had fried tofu that I thought was good. 
You need to come in and check something? I'm real lucky. I'm here while my mama's cooking. Mama, what are you cooking? I'm cooking lace hoe Are you? Yes. To go that with needs that to be flipped soup. to go with this great soup. Are you going to come flip that? No. <laughs> Oh, Bobby better not touch my hose. Okay. Well, what's going? We're just going to hope that it magically turns over. Well, it's it's just cooking. It's not ready yet, but. Go yeah, pearl. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Go pearl. <laughs> Look at that lace cornbread. Yes. Not, Look at that lace yeah. cornbread. There's not a lot of houses, I don't think, where there's people cooking lace corn cornbread right now. I lace love it. Cakes. Lace hoe cakes. I love it. This is something I, I, I remember so well growing up. Golly, Mama used to make that with turnip greens and with country fried steak and gravy, and that's exactly what she's making right now. And I'm making butternut and squash soup. And, and I'm making <laughs> tofu soup. <laughs> oh, my goodness. a handy dandy tool, the emulsifier. And you know what? I, I was trying to say, how it feels feeds your children a lot of soup. At that age, I was just surprised. But you don't put those rapers in there or whatever they are. Yeah. Rapers. Hey, group. Hold on. How you doing? <laughs> Family's all here. <laughs> We're waiting for soup. I'm making soup. <laughs> Step on in and do whatever you need to do, Mom. We can make sure that it's a real tight shot of just your I'm not pretty hands. enough yet for my friends. I want to taste it. To see. I know it's delicious. Mm. Those little muffins are oh, out of this so world. So good. I made this beautiful butternut squash soup. I also made um, earlier some pumpkin uh and uh what, what are they Corn, cornbread pumpkin and yeah pumpkin cornbread muffins and uh boy are they gonna go perfectly with this soup come on in here mama and do something about your cornbread yeah i did it so i want you to be in this so bad no. so the flavor is great now now butternut squash is um is really really firm and so too are the apples so we had to cook these um at a really nice simmer for about 20 or 25 minutes so the the um so that the fruit and the vegetable could soften up and uh, i gave it some time after that and uh, and now we're almost fine i got a little bit more blending to do so let me do this real quick ed so our soup is perfect it smells so good too and i snuck a little taste and i thought it was just great so let's, hey, Michael. <laughs> he can't answer you. His mouth is full of chocolate cup. Yeah, 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 I know, because mine was too just a minute ago. They have these bowls of candies around this house that are just, makes me angry. Beautiful butternut squash soup. Little dollop of Greek yogurt on top. Little parsley. Just looks great. It what do you does. think, Mom? Uh, it looks beautiful, Bobby. But I do hope that everybody will try those uh, corn muffins. Yeah, you like them, right? Those corn muffins, they are delicious. Yep. They really and are. Kind of on the healthier, the healthier side. Yeah, they are. I mean, you know. Uh, but they don't taste. They don't, don't taste, taste like it. Way. They don't taste like it. I'm going to dip one into my soup. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> So good. I didn't blood when I ate <laughs> Even better. Let's see. Mmm. Soup is great. Soup is great. Super. <laughs> Super <Summer> group. <laughs> so, it's fall, everybody. We have made uh, really, really simple, beautiful uh, pumpkin corn muffins, and we've made a beautiful butternut squash soup, and it really took me less than an hour to do both. Yeah. Dinner's ready. And then right behind me is the actual dinner of <laughs> country fried steak and collard greens and lace cornbread and what I'm sure is going to be creamed potatoes, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to have corn muffins and soup and I'll feel better. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. See you later. Bye. <laughs> 
Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.